today we're looking at the Apollo City 2024 version. The box feels very light. This is the upgraded model that weighs only 65 pounds. As always, this brand gives the best unboxing experience. As opposed to you can see, this scooter looks very intriguing. We have a bunch of specs on the box. 32 miles an hour is the first that jumps into my eyes. Let's open the box and get the scooter out. Very windy today. So instructions here, quick guide. I love this kind of stuff, makes the process so easy. And this is how it looks inside. Perfect packaging. Top of the charger. This is stuff that I like. Look how nice it's integrated here. We're gonna open this inside where it's warmer, but this is the tool set kit. manual and most likely the phone holder. You get this uh, sticker here to scan and to install the app and you have a bunch of warnings on handlebars with uh, the info, personal info of the scooter. You have this uh, phone mount addition that comes in the box. It connects here pretty nicely, you just have to make sure don't put it too close to the throttle so it doesn't block the trigger. This CD2024 model looks super sleek, smooth and feels so light. The attention to details is through the roof. High quality parts and this handlebar, it's even more clean than the previous model that I just tested. Triple spring suspension, 5 inch deck clearance, IP66 protection rating, big side and super bright rear lights, custom lightweight motor arms, very lightweight, rounded, unusual design that flows elegantly and looks so appealing. Let's go over the specs and we have here a dual system, 500 watts in the back, 500 watts in the front, peak power delivery, 2000 watts, 48 volts, 20 amp hour battery. And what's important here is this drum brakes, look how compact they are, nicely tucked in, front and back, really nicely executed, and the suspension, dual in the back, no adjustability, but so compact. So much travel and single in the front. Really nicely tucked in. And look at the angle here. If you look from farther, not sure what degree is, but it's tilted in the back. And really plush, so much travel. Feels perfect. With 225, 230 pounds for me, I even had a backpack with about 20, 30 pounds. And it was very comfortable, good rebound, very smooth, very plush. This model will retail for $15.99 and I like how the website is constructed. It gives you all full specs comparison on the range and I think this is 150 to maybe 175 pound rider because the numbers are very high. Another thing which is really cool here on the website, they give you the same segment, different models, price comparison and the specs. Really well done, narrows down exactly to what the rider is looking for. Very smooth from the start. Slide up hill here. And it goes pretty fast actually. Wow. Brakes are awesome. So 30 miles an hour max here, but I'm going uphill, so let's see on the flats. Very maneuverable, very agile, very easy to control. And I was slide uphill, you can see it picks up speed pretty, pretty good. So here we have a, a flat section, we'll see how much it does there, but 30 miles an hour is not bad. Considering I have uh, 245, 250 pounds, with the backpack, so let's see here. Yeah, very smooth pickup, very gradual. It's so simple and so easy to ride the scooter, feels effortless and very stable, just glides so smoothly with this acceleration combined with soft suspension. It looks like 30 miles an hour is the max, it doesn't go past that with my weight. And here we have slide up heel. Somebody got injured. No, 
so uphill 24 and it's a speed 25 yeah and brakes perfect yeah the controls are amazing it's on the smooth side compared to just previous video I dropped uh, yesterday two days ago I think or three days ago this is way smoother it doesn't have the kick so you can't set up to be aggressive but even on the smoothness on tan it's just like very intuitive very gradual very smooth very user-friendly punk if you go on the maximum speed it has that pull that kick so more aggressive but it's also I feel like I didn't do the count but my intuition tells me that this is uh, 20 amp hour 48 volts and the other one is 52 18 amp hour so probably the same amount of cells just different configuration but very nimble very comfortable to ride and very playful the tires are very sticky and now it's warmer so you have amazing control you can lean very low and really feel the grip suspension very soft yeah this is a uh, overall very comfortable scooter let's go next speed so this was sport uh, now there's no markings uh, not sure what speed is this but let's uh, see maximum top speed and it looks like I think this is walking speed four miles an hour three miles an hour so yeah three miles an hour it looks like a walking speed let's go next one this is eco and this seems to be about nine miles an hour and this one you guys already know this is the maximum 30 miles an hour yeah good settings very well defined and it picks up speed really nicely now one thing that I need to emphasize is the grips the grips are super soft and this like lines and circles really dig into your hand and just feels so freaking nice overall quality exceptional except the the levers but everything else feels very very nice and it's just aesthetically pleasing looking like just really well put together scooter I feel like it's gonna be hard uh, this year to pick up a commuter because there's so many amazing brands and they all have something extra something different something special so now I think uh, compared to the last four or five scooters I uh, reviewed it's all about the price uh, design color chosen ergonomics uh, I think that's the most important thing uh, that's the only way to differentiate because if one is too comfortable the other one is just too fast and you have to like kind of like pick and choose what's best for your commute or for your style of riding this scooter definitely is the most comfortable I tried this year and last year in this uh, weight in this uh, category wrench test beautiful weather finally temperature in 60 to 65 degrees my weight 250 pounds riding in a sport mode all the time with speed limits between 15 to 30 miles an hour mostly staying in 25 miles an hour limit and i was able to cover 23.7 miles in range i am shocked this is happening for the first time where i get more range than advertised really impressed with the results drum brakes comparison versus uh, the previous model and other scooters i tried so far look how compact this brake is also in the front nicely tucked in and another thing which is uh different than other scooters you see they're both on the right hand side other scooters have alternative uh, placement here it's not the case and this levers if you look um the same standard levers previous model had those rubbers inserts which make that you know special touch not a big deal but design thing that adds a little bit of value and um, this brakes needs to be squeezed really hard you're not going to use them if you only need it for safety yes that's not bad it's not a, a big deal but this regen is awesome i feel like here if you put some customized levers it will look so much better and maybe make it a little smoother a little bit less uh, you know pressure need to be applied tires 10 by 3 inches tubeless self-healing and the grip it's fantastic now make sure when you get the scooter out of the box i had about 25 psi it needs to be pumped to 45 psi 
I think here you have the specs, 45 PSI, make sure they're fully inflated, you get more speed and you get way longer range. Fantastic grip, these tires perform very good. They're amazing for city commuting. Check this out, I like this spring-loaded charging port. And this fenders in the front, there's not much here, all this uh, splash is gonna go into the shock. Now the arm here is gonna stop some of that water. It's just for design. The rear, the back fender, really long here on the bottom. So the water is not gonna jump on you. It's gonna go all the way underneath. This scooter is gonna be water resistant. You can ride in the rain, but make sure you're not sliding, you're not falling. This tires will give you an amazing grip and a wet surface. I tried the same tires and other scooters. Really good quality tire, but make sure it don't go too fast when it rains. Deck width in the middle, seven inch and a half. All usable space from the welds all the way in the back where well, the rubber ends is 21 inches and if you want to put your feet here in the back on this uh, handle another two three inches which can be useful if you're let's say over six feet tall handlebar height from the deck to the stem it is 41 inch and a half from the deck to the handlebar 43 inches handlebar width 26 inch and a half i'm impressed with this charger high quality compact and this is three amps fast charger so get your scooter fully charged from empty in about seven hours and here's the booklet and this is the super tool kit that Paul advertises, a really nice package. Let's see what we have here, a screw list and all details. This is actually nicely wrapped better than the Pro that I received uh, last year and here is what you get. So here we have the knob opens up, the same mechanism, spring loaded, comes down and we have this latch here clicks and you go 65 pounds this is what i'm talking about you see having the mesh protects the wires and running this inside makes such a easier you know wire management it's just so much better and this is how it should be done on all the scooters all the wires should run for the stem you see the magnet right here so when you put it down goes by itself and uh, stays there lights actually pretty decent throws far wide spill not sure how much camera picks up but you can actually adjust lower and higher very concentrated it's not super bright but more than enough and here is not completely dark so on a trail outside the city you have very good visibility the light will be more concentrated and more powerful we have rear brake lights and also regen very powerful very bright lights and if i go lower level you can see extremely bright and we have turning signals super bright you can see from the side they have notification and also turn itself after seven beeps very well done and here i'll show you guys from the side so you can see extremely bright lights and you can see in the front. Yeah, pretty good overall. Suspension, it is insane how compact, short, and they double it down in the back where you have most of the weight and the pull, two inches long in the back and up front. But you get over one inch of travel and it doesn't bottom down or feel rough like hitting something. It is super soft and so plush. Also, they kept it maximum possible functionality, but very light and compact, which is not easy to accomplish. Really cool app, by the way and I have both full scooters. And what's cool here, and this is very important, the GPS, we are actually perfectly located on 6th Avenue and 49th Street. You can maybe show right there on the corner. We're right by the sidewalk, eating lunch. And it's the exact location where the scooter is. So this has the best GPS I've seen so far. And you can see the City One and the Pro. Both scooters now have the City One and it's connected and it shows the battery capacity and now we can lock it and unlock it you can see it here all the rides and gives you all the specs which is really good and actually the company can see all your stats in the real time so back to the dashboard here we have settings personal info we have the scooter connected app settings and you can play with uh, various unit measurements and uh, auto ride auto connect which is all on here you have cruise control, lights, sport, eco, comfort, 
and here you have settings and here you can customize every setting individually now i choose sport six kilometers maximum speed here you have battery capacity 100 percent so you have cruise control kickstart and you have advanced settings you can play again with speed limited higher lower acceleration braking regenerative braking which is awesome here you can play with this and customize it exactly how you want it shut down time very good very well defined app and has exactly what you need very easy to to use what i like the most here is the gps location it shows you exactly location of the scooter so if it's getting stolen or you lost it it will be so easy to find it it's up to like almost like five meters maybe like a couple meters exactly we located this is the most accurate gps i've seen so far two things that i don't like about the scooter and this are the levers levers are fine the brakes are working very well but this levers it's so hard to press them both of them and you don't need them you have the regen so this is here only because of the legal uh, requirements to have them but uh, i spoke with apollo and they're gonna improve on that and the second thing is we don't have a horn so the pro model has a horn here you only have a belt here so these are the two things that need improvement on this model i love this dark gray with black ants theme looks awesome you have a beautiful curved shape frame design performance is there 30 miles an hour with fast smooth acceleration that is all you need for new york city more than enough range actually more than advertised great software best gps i've seen so far deadly precision location combined with the most comfortable suspension at 65 pounds or under scooter i've tested so far as a package overall great performance the link will be down below in the description box thank you so much for watching ride safe and i'll see you next time